Okay, my name is Jim Vilvang. I'm a lawyer in Vancouver, British Columbia. I work with the law firm of Richards Buell Sutton. I was a member of the Olympic Gym on West Broadway in Vancouver during the 1970s. I started shortly after the gym opened, I believe late 1974 or early 1975, and I remained a member after it moved over to Arbutus in the, I believe, early 1980s, but I'm not completely clear on the dates, but definitely I was a member there through the latter part of the 70s. I met Tony at the gym back in the 70s. I remember Tony was uh, very strong, one of the strongest people in there. I was a regular uh, trainer with weights. I did compete in a very low level in bodybuilding competition. Um, Tony was a person that you would notice because he had very distinctive workout routines and he was obviously uh, one of the most muscular people in the gym at the time. Specifically, I remember Tony doing what I considered at the time to be weird exercises. One of them was that he would do uh, a leg extension type of exercise lying on his stomach and he, I remember people being hanging onto his legs and he would use them for weight when he would raise his legs up uh, you know from lying on his stomach raise his legs up to a flat position so I know Tony was very focused on his back exercises in the 70s uh, whereas most of us didn't specifically isolate the back uh, well, the, the spinal erectors, we'd you know, isolate the lats and things like that. Certainly, I would testify to these things to the best of my ability. If uh, I was under oath, my memory of dates and that is not clear. You're asking me to go back over 30 years. I have a memory of sort of a vision in my mind of you doing these type of exercises generally. I couldn't say a specific date, time, that sort of thing. But, you know, generally speaking, I would say more or less what I've said here.